is a chestnut-sized fruit of tropical African origin. When harvested, the fruit is often found in loaves of two or more. Some fruits may have as many as eight loaves. The freshly nut is often in white or brown or reddish color, with some occasionally appearing in green color. The cultivation and production of kola nut for purposes of trade is traced beyond the 13th century. In those early years, kola nut was sold as a commercial item on the market, together with items like salt, leather, potash, iron, and gold, etc. These items were indigenous and transacted across West Africa. The slave trade came later to stabilize and reflect these items in prominence in Africa. Kola nut was originally discovered cultivated and developed for commercial purposes in Gonja, in the northern part of the Asian Ashanti region in present-day Ghana. The fruit soon became popular and was expected to be cultivated and grown in western Nigeria and even in places like Brazil and Caribbean islands. There are two varieties of kola nut, the kola netida and the kola akumulata. The kola, the tida is the banja, the purely commercial kola. The accumulata is the, is what we call a bata, I believe. And that's the one that really has cultural uh, value. In Nigeria, trading in kola nut, particularly from Gonja, dates back to the 13th century, when it was a prominent item in the commercial transaction among the punked House of States, the Borno Empire, and the defunct Sokoto Caliphate on one hand, and Gonja in Ghana on the other. This historical commerce survived for centuries and is still very much alive, despite the destructions of events like the transatlantic slave trade, the 19th century jihad of Usman ibn Podio, and the European colonial occupation of Africa. The root, nature, and character of that commerce also survives with few changes today despite the phenomena of nations, regions, and state creations. <laughs> The importance of Kola Nut in terms of its social cultural impact is perhaps best summed up in the saying that Kola Nut is produced in the West among the Yoruba, it is revered in the East among Igbo, and consumed in the North among the House of Lani. The truth of this statement lies more in the fact that since the 19th century, Kola Nut has been produced in commercial quantity in Western Nigeria by the Yoruba tribes. It is also true that over the year, the Igbo in the east of Nigeria have tended to give a sanctimonious regard for Kola Nut and to associate it with the reverence and pity accorded ancestors and deities. Igbo community believe that he who brings Kola brings life. 